Casey Cameron Boy here at the city of Visalia Court Enforcement Center. Let's see these people respect our freedom and to record. <laughs> Hello, what's your name? This is Court Enforcement? Uh, actually, they're in this building, but I'm with building six. Oh. Do you need to speak with code enforcement? Yeah, yeah. Um, is there one here? What's, yeah, what's it regarding? I just need to ask some, some questions on on how they perceive their job when getting calls. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. What is this window for, if you don't mind me asking that question? Permits windows. Permits. So what kind of permits can people get here? Like building permits or? Building permits for their home and businesses if they are a property owner or licensed contractor. Oh, so uh, for example, if I want to open up a business, is this where I come and Not try to get? Not for your business license, no. Oh. But if the, let's say the property owner says, you know, you're going to put in a barbershop. Okay. And you want to install the sinks, you know, to wash hair or whatever, then that would require a permit. We could issue that to the property owner themselves oh. or a licensed contractor. Can people live at the same house where there is a barber shop, or they have to have like a house in the back? Nah. Not allowed in the city. Oh, yeah, because I have a. Can't have customers coming to your home. Right. Because it's a home, it's not a business. So um, regulations vary from city to city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because Bakersfield, um, my friend, she's a barber, a barber, mm -hmm. but her house is in R two, so she has a house in the back, but the front one, it's a barber shop. Oh. Yeah, so that was, that was uh, that's why I was asking that question because. Yeah, it's kind of based on our zoning. Oh, it's based on zoning. Mm -hmm. Ah, so different zoning. Um, different cities do different zoning ordinances. Okay. So depending on their ordinance, they're allowed to do certain things in that zone. And the zoning. Oh, good to know that. What's your name? Sandra. Sandra, right? Okay. Thank you so much. Very professional. You're welcome. Thank you. Howdy there. Um, hey. Yeah, my friend had some questions here. Are you the uh, code enforcement? I am. Oh, cool. All right. Right on. What can I do for you? Oh, oh my you, friend has questions here. You're, you're one of the ladies that goes into the calls, the phones? Well, yes, I'm the supervisor. What can I do for you? Okay, we just had a few questions. Okay. For you. What was your name? My name is Tracy Robertson. Tracy Robertson. How long have you been working here? Fifteen years. Fifteen years. Uh, have good. you ever been? Have you ever been sued these fifteen years you've been here? Me personally, no. 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 Oh. Um, what type of calls have you went to? Um, oh wow, a wide variety. <laughs> um, like anything that involves a municipal code violation. So yard sales, substandard housing. Um, People can't do yard sales? You can't have more than two a year. What? Why is that? that because then it turns your property into more like a residential uh, business and the neighbors have issues with that. Wow. All cities limit the number of yard sales that you have. The neighbors have issues with that? Yeah, because it involves, it brings a lot of traffic to residential neighborhoods. So is we it? encourage you, if you want to have multiple yard sales, then to go to like swap meets and those types of things. It's better for the neighborhood. Is it against the law to like, to do it more than two times a year? It's against the municipal code. But not against the law? Well, the municipal code are city laws. Oh. That's interesting. Oh, so okay. if you look on the city's website, there's a list of municipal codes. It's almost like a penal code, but for cities. He, he was telling me, uh, is it true about the grass? The grass can only be so high or something like that? Yes, that's the fire department monitors that. So what? grass, it has to be, if it's, if it's dead and too tall, then it's a fire hazard. So the fire department will send you a letter letting you know to cut that down. So then they get a ticket or whatever and they got to go to court? No. No, they just got to cut it? They have to cut it. Oh. Huh. Have you ever used your power against someone as retaliation or anything like that? Oh, absolutely not. No? No. Cool. Do you have any complaints on your name? On my name? Yeah. I couldn't tell you. Huh? Okay. I couldn't tell you. What do you mean by complaints on my name? Intern not first investigation, I think. Okay. I think that's what you mean. Do you have any questions? Um, yeah, in regards to um, what you just said, um, are those municipal ordinances, are they... Um, are just that council that's being approved, approving those municipal ordinances, or they go through a vote, or it's when it comes to election that people vote for them to be approved? From how do they work? So city count. So they go before city council. Okay. And they have what's called a public hearing, and mm -hmm. so that's advertised on the city council agenda. Okay. And uh, it's also sent to everybody in a 300 foot radius of where the the issue, where the the issues happening, business or whatever is going to happen. Um, and so then people can come and voice their concerns and their opinions on those situations and council oh. 
can take that into consideration when they pass ordinances. Okay, so if, if a municipal, municipal ordinance has already been passed, can people abolish that municipal ordinance? Like take it to the council, you know what, this municipal ordinance is not right. Can we like yes, veto that? Yes, come before city council. Everybody can speak to city council for three minutes at any city council okay. meeting and yes. their concerns. And city council will listen to them and take that into consideration. Oh, oh cool. Yeah. Do you have any other... Mm, there's been questions? lots of there's been lots of code changes since I've been here for 15 years. Wow. So, yes. Yeah. So people can find the, all all of those municipal ordinances. They can find them on the yeah. page uh, that you're talking about, right? Yeah. If you go to the city's website. Okay. Do any of those ordinances? Uh, is it, how do you say? Um, I can't think of the word. I'm sorry. I can't hear you. No. No. Nothing. Oh, okay. So what was it? No. No. But was it the website where people, where people can um, check this it out? This is the city's website right here. Okay. And if you look, when you pull it up, it'll say city, the banner on the, about halfway down, it'll say city government. Okay. Click on that, and about halfway down the page, it'll say municipal codes. Right on. And that's all the rules for the city. Okay. It includes well, everything from, you know, all the zoning rules, all the rules of the, the roads, everything is in there. Okay. So, my last question beforehand, um... If people do more than one yard sale at a residential zone, let's say they got they did two, but they want they do a third one without letting you guys know. Are cops gonna show up to the house or? Well, if they just get a courtesy notice letting them know they can't do that. Ah. Most people don't know, so we send a courtesy notice just letting them know. Okay. And when okay. people get courtesy notices, most of the time they just do the right thing. People okay. Want to do the right thing. I mean, it kind of sounds like Jay, that what you were saying about traffic and you know the traffic that's coming to residential areas. I can't. I understand that point, but... So somebody, in, in order for us to even send out a courtesy notice, neighbors have to complain. We don't drive around and look for okay. situations. Neighbors have to complain. So if you're, if most people just be a good neighbor, most of the time your, city, your neighbors aren't going to call us. Okay, so you, that's the key. you got to be a good neighbor. you got to be a good neighbor and people don't call the city, yes. Okay, absolutely. I don't know if you have any other questions there for her. That's it. That's it. Very professional. I like to see that this city is being very professional and it's treating us right. You know, I mean, though we have a camera, you know. Absolutely, we try. Yeah, we we try to. You know, we're not trying to make anybody's job difficult. You know, and and thank you for working 15 years for the city. The lady over there, she's been working 19 years. I mean, oh, yeah. I'll be proud to say I've been working here for 15 years. Yes, I I'll be am. honest. Very proud. I'll be really proud. Like she said, I'm 19 years. I'm almost gonna retire. I'll be proud to say that. Hopefully, one day I'm gonna say that too. If you have any other questions, let Thank me you. Know. Um, I'm going to post this business card, so in case some people have any questions, I don't know if they can get a hold of you and sure. ask your people from here as well, so uh, maybe they can get a, their answers clear, you know, so. Absolutely. Yeah. And okay. The, the, bis the card that I gave him with the city's website on it, okay. it has our complaint line, so if oh, somebody perfect. wants to call in a complaint, there's a, there's a phone number on there yeah. that has a complaint line that will walk them through the different departments okay. to complain. And yeah, just like that, like what you said about the grass, I mean, at first I thought it was kind of like a petty municipal ordinance, but when you mentioned the fire hazard and if it's dry, it makes logic yeah, to me, so I can argue that. Everything that we pass is all about safety. Yeah, and I agree. I'm actually a safety supervisor, but I just do YouTube and journalism. So, but I do got my degrees from Osha. I went to college. I graduated from college for industrial awesome. health and safety administration. But I, I just try to do this. Awesome. Watch <laughs> for openings for the city. Oh, for rules? <laughs> Will you guys hire me? Even though I guys, I've been giving you guys hell for the last four years. Oh. I did an internship for for six months, and I worked for them for a year. So I pretty much have a good experience. Yeah, but just in all your rigs and stuff like that. <laughs> but thank you so much. Thank Stay so safe. Much. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Stay safe. All right, well, this is it. Very professional ladies. I got to give him props. Jeez, these people are so helpful. I love them. Casey Cameron Boy in Tulare County over there. <laughs>